What in the world, boss? Your boy, big low country. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Look, everybody and their mama come and give me a call talking about big low. I need you to ask a question for me. Tell me what you're thinking. Do you think Keanu Neal is going to be on this Falcons roster next year? I'm sitting here like, what in the world, Bubba? I mean, you know, we just got to take a look at everything, and we got to take a look at all the variables. So, look, first of all, I want to let everybody know, make sure, if this is your first time checking me out, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I want to give a special shout-out to all the coaches because everybody who has subscribed to Big Low Country is on the coaching staff. Now, look at here, Bo. We all know the story. We all know what's going on. Dan Quinn's gone. Dean Pease is the new defense coordinator. And Dean Pease has ran some legendary defenses over the years, Bo. But we also have to remember that those defenses that Dean Pease ran had specific players that kind of fit in with the specific deal that they had going on. So, oh, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Hold on. Whew. Now, look, I always tell y'all, it's in my cup. It's in my cup now. It might be water. It might be moonshine. But if you see me smiling, that just means I'm happy to see you. But the thing is that over the course of all these years, Dean Pease has had these successful defenses. He's always had that, that run and hit strong safety. And whenever I think about those running hit strong safeties and these great defenses that Dean Pease has had, it makes me think a lot about Bernard Pollard of all people. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people might not remember Bernard Pollard. Great, great strong safety, man. Um, and <laughs> he kind of got a bad reputation over the years, kind of like a one Keanu Neal. And, you know, over the years, he, he's he's laid the lumber, Bo. Kind of like a one Keanu Neal, like, like a boogeyman, <laughs> John Wick. So the thing about that DP's defense is that it's one of those cases, guys, where you have to have that guy that can run and hit, that can play in the box just like a linebacker, and, you know, he can come make that beeline to that flat and also guard those tight ends that's coming out, depending on, you know, how they're playing, you know, how, they, you know, how those safeties are playing, uh, playing in, 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 those, in those specific zones. Now, moving forward, the big question is, is Keanu Neal going to even stay uh, as an Atlanta Falcon? Now, my whole thing, guys, is that we have to look at what's happened in the past with these Atlanta Falcons and what's happened in the past with Keanu Neal. So he got hurt basically two years in a row, missed a whole ton of games. Last year, he came in and he played pretty well. But it's one of those things that I always say, guys. Y'all remember, we took Keanu Neal in the first round, and you know he was supposed to come in and kind of change the whole – whole mentality of this defense. Dan Quinn was preaching that, you know, he loves to play ball. He's a ball kind of guy. He loves to run and hit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you something. Just because a guy can run and hit doesn't mean he's a key piece on your defense. Doesn't mean he's a key piece on your defense, Bo. And I, I know a lot of people are going to get upset with me for saying this because everybody's preaching, oh, the culture, and we need to change the mentality, and we need to be tough, and it's all about accountability and things like that. But wait a minute now. Hold on, y'all. Let's just take a look at this situation from, you know, just, just from a straight point of view. Okay, yeah, the guy, he can run and he can hit. You know, he's relatively fast. He came out of he came out of the combine running the four six. I know a lot of safeties that can run a little bit faster than him, but we also got to remember that one of your biggest responsibilities, especially being a safety, is you got to make sure that you you're the last line of defense for every for all y'all who's working in manufacturing. You're Q and A. You got to make sure nothing bad gets past you. So. At the end of the day, you got to be able to cover. You got to be able to cover. And, you know, one of the reasons why Bernard Pollard didn't stay in Baltimore is because Bernard Pollard couldn't cover. Yeah, they won the Super Bowl with him, but, I mean, he, he couldn't cover. And, and that's what I mean whenever I say you can be big and fast as much as you want to. End of the day, and I, I say this is the case for almost all sports, even – um, on offensive and defensive lines, skill always outweighs 
talent. Well, I'm not even going to say talent. Always outweighs physical attributes. So just because you're strong, just because you're big, just because you're fast, just because you can jump high, it don't make no difference. You still got to be able to have the skill. End of the day. End of the day. You got to be able to have the skill. You got to be able to have the technique. You got to be able to make sure you know how to plant your feet. You got to know where people are going and know how, you know, just know how to run the back end of that defense. Because let's be honest, is Keanu Neal seriously a guy that you want to have on the back half of your defense running, a, just running a plain cover two? If you're just running a plain cover two, do you want a guy back there that runs a 4 6 40? With Tyreek Hill running down the sideline or running a post, running 22 miles an hour, he's going to run past him. He's going to run past him. If we're talking about changing the culture, let's change the culture. We can't keep holding on to what we had in the past, Bo. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to kind of let things go. And I, I honestly think this is one of those cases because – in that DMP's defense where they run those three fours, you know, it's all about communication on that back half. If you watch Ed Reed and Bernard Pollock play together, those boys were always communicating. They were giving hand signals and everything else. But, I mean, there were times when Bernard Pollock, he, he, had, to, he had to drop back. But most of the time, Ed Reed, he was back there working everything himself and Bernard Pollock was in the box. But, the, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, you, you can't always expect that 3-4 defense to kind of disguise everything for you. Because at the end of the day, let's be honest, guys, we're not trying to protect anybody. We're not trying to disguise anything to protect anybody. Everybody has a job to do out there, so let's not try to hide Keanu Neal. If he can play the safety position, let the guy play the safety position, but I'll be doggone. I ain't, I'm not trying to pay him a whole bunch of money whenever he's had this questionable injury history, whenever he, he's not that good of a cover safety. Y'all remember what happened in that playoff game? In the playoff game against the Eagles, he had a chance to catch an interception right before, right before halftime. Boy, can't even catch the ball. He's trying to catch the ball with his knees. What in the world, boy? <laughs> So look, man, look, look, y'all don't get mad at me. Fact of the matter is that if y'all have a difference of opinion than, than I do, make sure that you put it in the comments. But all I'm saying is that if we do bring Keanu Neal back, let's give him a, like a two-year prove it deal, a deal that we could potentially move on from if he, if he can't work in this defense. But, you know, let's give him something chock full of incentives, you know, with the main, with the main incentive being – we want you to play all 16 games. <laughs> That's the main incentive. We don't want any more major injuries and, you know, things like that. Because, look, he's missed a lot of games over the last over the last two, three years, guys. So if we're trying to change the culture, let's change the culture. Let's go ahead and get somebody in who – whoever this free safety – because – Let's be honest, the free safety, that's actually going to be the key to your defense. That's going to be one of the major keys to your defense. If you ever watch any DMP's film, any DMP's defensive film, you'll see that that free safety is basically kind of running everything. And I can almost guarantee you whenever this season starts, that safety is going to have that green dot on the back of his helmet. And if I'm lying, I'm flying. <laughs> But, yeah, man, I just want to let y'all know what my opinion was on this whole Keanu Neal situation. Um, I, Me, personally, I'm leaning more towards letting him go. But, I mean, if we keep him and it could work, I'd be the most, I, I, I'll be smiling like a possum eating a sweet potato. <laughs> Look, man, I appreciate y'all for chilling out with the country, boy. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I reply to all comments. Y'all don't do nothing the big low country would do, man. Y'all be easy.